Good morning. We're going to end today. Uh, more cartoon, more uh, character sketches. I've got to draw up for a joke. Uh, a gym teacher for the school. So I thought I'd bring you along for the ride. Let's get started. All right, we're talking about your classic gym teacher. The, uh, the concept has to... Uh, the, the first room he shows up and he takes up most of the frame. So I'm thinking a big stocky guy. The, the gag is uh, for the whole series will be he'll represent uh, that one wing of the political spectrum, the, the far right, I would suppose. And, uh, and then I'll have the teacher who takes place of the nervous teacher uh, be the uh, left wing. So that way we can have some contrast. Again, I, these are tropes, right? These are stereotypes. I'm okay with stereotypes uh, for a good gag. And I'm okay with, uh, I try to look for some dichotomy in uh, characters. I, I feel like the, they book in each other nicely, the big gym teacher and the classroom teacher who's going to have the sit-down class. I, I imagine in my head right now she's going to be pregnant. That makes for some jokes in there too. Anyways, gym teacher. I'm going to talk about a, a big guy. right? I'm going to make a... Uh, I want his silhouette to kind of be big and impressive. So oh, we're talking about that size. Big beefy arms, big beefy forearms. I think forearms are going to be where the character is going to live. You know, once I get past the the waistline, I care less just because uh, it's oftentimes not in the frame. Uh, but of course, we'll have to have gym shorts. Uh, let's see, we can make them so that they ignored leg day, right? Make them nice thin legs. Eh, that's probably not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make them stock. You're never going to see the legs anyways. That joke would never pay off. All right. Uh, I'm going to give him a big, let's see, a head. Uh, you know, his head shape, I feel like will be smaller on the top. I'm going to probably go with a crew cut of some type, right? And almost no neck. Like, their whole shoulders are going to come in without a neck. Biggest jaw. I'm thinking big jaw. Right? And the jaw is somewhere down in his chest, right? This is where his clavicle is. His jaw is so big, his chest comes down to there. Probably somewhat of an overbite. Uh, underbite, excuse me. And big. I don't want to cast aspersions on my former high school or junior high phys ed teachers, right? But, uh, and it's, they did nothing wrong. I was just not an athletic kid. So let's just call, call a spade a spade here. Uh, so I did not enjoy gym class, and I'll be taking a little bit out on this character here. Um, big mustache, right? This guy's macho, muy macho. So he's going to have a big upper lip mustache. Um, kind of like your Magnum PI. I was a fan of Magnum PI. I looked at eyebrows before. I've done already square blocky ones. I'm going to do something like that. Yeah. Let's zoom in a little bit on that face and see if you can see what I'm, see what I'm talking about here. All right. Zoomed in on that face. I got a nose that takes up about the middle of his face. I got that big bushy mustache. I'm gonna give him that old crew cut. He looks like he's smiling too much. I don't want to smile quite that much. Little beady eyes. Right, I'm gonna bring that side of the eye down a little bit further. All right. Pretty happy with that face. Oh, let's bring those ears out. How's that going to look with his ears down in there? I'm not sure. All right. Now he wears a gym shirt, right? So it's up top here. Imagine he's got a whistle. This is how we know he's a coach, right? That neck hole is going to be nice and big and open. Because I want to get some hair coming out of his chest. Sell that character. Uh... Alright. We got the gym shorts. Right. This says gym shorts. Just having that elastic band there. 
Now let that shirt kind of come out. He's tucking his shirt in. This guy is ship shape. He is going to be all about the discipline. Matter of fact, he probably, oh, let's get them shorty shorts. Let's get the shorts way up here. So they're shorty shorts. His legs are going to have all kinds of hair. Maybe big tube socks, maybe? Again, I'm not so worried about the feet because it's rare that you see them. But his forearm needs a, I don't know, a tattoo. Yeah, this guy was Navy, right? Of course he was Navy. Big tattoo. If you're familiar with a Steve Dallas character from Bloom County, I think I'm going to be borrowing from him. In this hand, he's probably holding a clipboard. Right? They still use clipboards, right? It's been a little while since I was attending a phys ed class, but I'm assuming you still use old school clipboards to draw up your plays and other ways to torture little kids who aren't athletic. It seems about that simple. That's kind of really what I'm going to do. Um, side view of the head. Why do they want to make that news look like that? Right? And he's all mustache and underbite. Beady eyed. That constant scowl right there. Ears down here. That's kind of the shape of the head I'm going with. Can't really see it from the front shot so much, though. Helps to have a side view. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, bring out the pens. We'll put this, kick this into fast gear, see what it looks like. Okay, I think that's kind of what I'm going to go with. I'll do a second pass and, and clean up the inks a little bit and then add some marker to it. But uh, some things of note. Obviously, hairy arms. Uh, where the shoulders, uh, where the pecs maybe come into the arms, I'm throwing these tension lines to kind of show off where that t-shirt fits awfully tight. And so I'll, I'll even throw these down here. You'll see the fat of the leg sticks out of the shorts to kind of show again He's barely, he's got uh, five pounds of meat inside of a three pound bag. Uh, same thing up, up top with the t-shirt meets the arm, just bulging out, just the smallest amount. Kind of makes me laugh. I'm also thinking about names. Uh, I don't want to throw just an Italian, your, your, your Italian name out there. It's just, uh, I don't know, it just seems like it's too derivative. I think I like the idea, and I'm trying with Coach. Like I knew a Coach Volberg, I could call him Coach Volberg or Co Coach James, but I don't know that I want to do that to Jim either. So I think I'm just going to go with Senior Chief. The guy was in the Navy, not quite the top, not quite Master Chief, but he made it to Senior Chief, and just everyone referred to him as Senior Chief, or Senior, uh, for short, since word, uh, the length of names is something I consider because of the wording, you know, having to fit up the names into a panel. So we'll call him uh, Coach Senior, or Senior, uh, but just short for Senior Chief. I think that's what I'm going to go with. All right, let me do a second pass of... Uh, inks, erase those pencil lines, the second pass of inks, and I'll do some markers and show you what the final thing looks like. All right, I think I'm very satisfied with the, with the way that he's come out over here. So, calling out a few things. Um, hairier arms than I expected, but I'm going to not give him hairy legs. Maybe somewhere there's a joke about how come his legs aren't as hairy as his arms. I'll think about that over time. Uh, let's see what else did I call out here. Uh, made the skin tone darker than the shirt. I mean, I do want his shirt to be the whitest thing here. Uh, so he'll have that'll add to oh whatever kind of um, the tan tone is going to I'm sure be part of his personality. Maybe he's out in the sun a whole bunch. We'll see. 
I think you want to think of this guy as a guy who does not believe in participation trophies. He is not on board with those kinds of coddling kids. He's a, he's your James Harrison of the Steelers, kind of as a football coach. Uh, and yes, James Harrison, my mind will always be a Steeler, not a Patriot. Anyways, that's how I'm coming up with that's my coach. This will be the coach for the series. He's going to be a supporting cast member. It won't be around so much. I think about Coach McGurk and uh, some of those other coaches that you've seen uh, against Steve Dallas from Bloom County. He'll, he'll fit that same motif. Not to try to copy any of those, but certainly to pay homage to those characters. He won't be as inept as Coach McGurk, I can't imagine, if you're familiar with the character from uh, home movies. But uh, I do like the name McGurk. It's such a great name. and I'll have this voice in my head as I do the skits with this guy here. Senior Chief, Coach, Coach Senior, Coach Chief. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out what fits in the panel the best. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, How to Draw a Character, How to Draw Your uh, Gym Coach, I guess. If you have any questions, hit me up on my uh, email if you have any, uh, or you can hit me on Instagram now. If you have any tips or things that I might be able to do to make these more informative, let me know. If you have any uh, comments, just leave them below. I appreciate it. You want to hit subscribe and hit like if that uh, if this uh, so tickled you and you got some information on this. You want to pass along to your friends. Pass the link. I'm trying to build up this channel. Cheers, everybody.